So you're taking CO2, compressing it into tanks, and then uh, using electricity from wind, solar, or grid power, right, to drive that process of creating the storage. And then you're releasing the CO2 and driving a turbine on demand to generate electricity. Is that the basic premise of the technology? Uh, yes, Tim, that's uh, pretty correct. We just store CO2 at atmospheric condition in a big dome, from which is the name of the company, where the, the CO2 is kept at ambient pressure and ambient temperature in a gas holder. From that, we use a compressor to compress it and we liquefy at ambient temperature and we store the CO2 liquid, which is very dense and very energy dense in a relatively small pressure vessel when, you know, there is a high availability of, uh, <coughs> of electricity. When we have a peak demand in the grid, we discharge the liquid CO2, which is heated back and enter into an expander, which expanded the CO2, producing power back to the grid. And finally, the CO2 is delivered back to the dome. Since the dome is a totally closed system, the CO2 battery is a totally closed system with no emission of CO2 in the atmosphere. We just use CO2 as a working fluid and we manipulate that in order to store electricity to, to match the gap between demand and supply. Thank <laughs> you.